this is over the top. I'm really nervous. I just want it to be over. Here's a boat that's basically indestructible. If the boat doesn't sink, the boat will not crack. I've seen boat drops before, but ordinarily, they drop them in the water, not on the pavement. We're going to try to kill a sea hunter today. OK, here we go. Wow, over 100 G's at the transom and no major hull damage. I do not believe that. The yeah. sound of that, that it was how It was but, really something. Like, like we're mostly looking, I'm saying cosmetic. Yeah, we were expecting gel chipping and we got honestly a lot less than I thought we would. Well, this is probably more grinding. It bounced three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went back and forth and, you know, we had a, a fabulous bond, obviously, between the resin and the gel coats. And I mean, it really held up well. And then you can see right there at the keel, I'm sure we had a corner load, a point load right there, but it still, it held up incredibly well. Very, very little gel coat flaking off of it. You can see we got an excess of 75 Gs of shock load. After mounting the engines on the T-top, we put her through her paces. The smooth ride after our extreme drop test gave me all the confidence a sea hunter could handle anything the sea could dish out. And now the real test. Broke out the saws and chopped the hull in two. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so it was back to the water to prove once and for all a Sea Hunter boat is unsinkable and built to take a beating. It's not nearly as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Oh, yes, it is. After an impact that registered over 100 G's and after cutting it in half, the Sea Hunter hull proved seaworthy in yet another test drive. At least half of it did, anyway. 